All right, you guys. Now it's time for the second craft. Okay, so the second one is this cool little craft here. So this is this really fun um, fairy image that I love so much. Um, it's called the Bluebell, Bluebell Fairy Edger from Creative Expressions. So cool. So what it does, it just cuts out this one part, this one side of um, this die cut here. Okay. And so the other side is kind of like inlaid. It's kind of this inlaid die cut. So it's kind of interesting. Um, the die cut is only that tall. And so it kind of stopped at a certain point. So you could take a pair of scissors and finish that. And then also I included this kind of cool old music paper. I love this. It's kind of, um, aged along the edge. It's just paper that I am I was kind of given. I have a book of music paper. Um, but if you have an old music book laying around or you happen to find one or you go to the library downstairs when they reopen and you can take a look, um, or you can even go and find some music um, notes online and print it off on a kind of ivory colored paper. That would be a great idea too. I love the treble clef and the look here. So I've given you kind of this half sheet of paper, this kind of speckled paper. And then you can mount this on on there and then you have your fun little um die cut here and so what i'm going to do is i really like this idea of kind of laying this on the side and i love this um just to kind of as like a little inspirational kind of thing you know that maybe you want to hang up or you can frame or you can send to someone but it's just kind of you know meant to just kind of be beautiful and just kind of you know kind of taking a joy and kind of um the beauty around you kind of an idea okay so here we are. So we're going to have this and we're going to leave this on the side right here. So I already am just loving this, but right off the bat, I'm noticing that it's really heavy on the left side here. Um, and it's really, um, not very heavy on the right side. And if you know what I, if you're not sure what I mean, um, like there's like, it's really light in color and it's really black over here. And so like my eyes just drawn to this area and not so much over here. And although there is some black in here, it's not really, it doesn't really, it's not really feeling very balanced. I'm going to pull up my little fairy wings here because I like that those are raised up. Okay. So I've also included in your little kit, these little birds, which I think are so cute and precious. Oh my gosh, I just love these. All right, so the little die cut birds. I thought this would be so cute if they were sitting on the music notes. Oh my gosh, I wish. Look how adorable this is. Oh my gosh. Um, you can even take a pair of scissors and you can cut away this little butterfly, which I'm actually going to do. And then you can put um, one of your little birds on there instead. I'm going to leave that all on the bottom because it doesn't really matter so much. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to go like this. Oh, so cute. Actually, I'm going to go with this one because it's looking at her. Oh, so cute. Oh, my goodness. Yay. I'm going to have these guys little sitting up here, maybe. Whoops. And let's go down here. My little birdies everywhere here. My little flying birds. And I just sit over here. A lot of sitting birds here. Oh, that's right. We're having them sit on the music notes. So cute. Oh my gosh. I like this one. It's kind of green in that one. Oh. Oh my gosh, so much fun, so much fun. Okay, so you can go in, you can glue all these down. But like I was saying, it's kind of still kind of still heavy on this left side here. So to fix this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna line this out with a pen. So I'm gonna shake all that off, even though I just lined that all up. But I know now I have kind of an idea of what I want to do there. I'm gonna use this glue. This is a fine line glue, but I don't need very much of it, like a very thin amount of glue because this paper is very thin. But I want to go all the way to the edge here because I really don't want the glue showing, I'm even going to use my finger here to really um, flatten out this glue. I already have a brush. If you don't want your fingers to get dirty, you can use a paintbrush. Okay. I'm going to flip this over here and I'm going to just match this up here so that there's about a, maybe a little over a quarter of an inch on all three sides because I want there to be an even amount on all three sides here. This back side doesn't matter so much because this, this black one's going to go all the way to the edge, but I want those three to be even. Okay. Right. And now we're going to lay this on. Already, I am just loving this so much. I'm going to glue all of this down. 
I'm gonna leave little pearls and pieces and all of this. All right, and that's gonna just match up with the edge because it's also a half a sheet of paper. All right, there we go. So we're gonna lay that down. Okay. And I'm gonna go in and glue down all my little birdies here. So first I'm gonna glue down this one where the one that was talking to her because I thought that was really cute. Okay, and now we'll just go in and glue all of these guys down. branches and some of them sitting on her music notes some of them chatting with their other ones their little friends so cute ignoring like cats ignoring each other Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, I just already love that so much. Okay, and then I'm gonna write, I'm gonna go ahead and use my ruler here. I'm gonna use the back side of this because I really wanna get right up against the edge of this. Now I'm drawing on this side of this piece of paper here, this middle uh, music note piece of paper, but just right along that edge there so I can still see how cool and old it is, but I really want to give more separation um, between these two images here. Now I'm gonna actually just take a moment and just trace it around that corner there and just pull that off the paper so I can get that nice rounded, rounded edge. Okay. And look already, it just looks so nice and crisp. I really like that. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing here. And again, I'm kind of taking note, I'm actually gonna mark it with my pen um, where that ends there. So I make sure not to go that far. I'm going to hold this in place to make sure that I don't go over that paper by accident. Okay, and now I'm going to pull this back so that I left my little mark there and I knew where that was going to go over. All right. And then I'm going to go in here. I messed up this up kind of a little bit, but you know what? It's okay. And because I did it, I'm going to do it again somewhere else just to make it kind of seem like I did it on purpose. See how I kind of marked it just a little bit right there? So I'm also going to do that up here a little bit. Even though I know it doesn't look very pretty. I'm going to keep it funky. All right. And there we have it. Oh! Oh my gosh, so much fun. All right, there you are. So there's our today's little secondary little craft play. All right. Thanks for coming to craft today, guys. Have a fun rest of your day.